the LG V20 user here, and today I'm doing a video on the, on the Motorola Moto E4 for Boost Mobile Guys. So this one is now it's finally here on Boost Mobile's website. It's supposed to get released yesterday, but I don't know why Boost Mobile always gets phones late. But but anyways, here it is. It has the Moto E4 on Boost. Um, it's a nice looking phone. As you guys can see here, the front of the phone is you can have your front facing camera, your earpiece, your front facing camera flash. So that's nice. You guys want to take selfies and videos at night and all that good stuff and whatnot. That's the uh, clock there. You know, a nice clock, nice wallpaper as well. You also have your motor logo on the bottom of it as well. <coughs> on the right side of the phone is your volume button and your power button, guys. So that's really nice. That is on, that's not on the uh, left side. Right side of the phone again, is, like I said, volume button and the power button. Back of the Moto E4 is your camera, camera flash, and your Motorola dimple there. And your speaker is probably at the bottom of the phone, I guess. Um, yeah. So, let's see, let's, see, let's see what the Moto E4 has to offer from Boost Mobile here, guys. Packing a 5 inch curved touchscreen display, Android 7.1 Nougat, right out the box. 8 megapixel rear camera. Selfie friendly wide angle 5 megapixel front facing camera, splash proof protection, and all day battery life. The Moto E4 is ready for whatever you throw at it. The Moto E4 on Boost is $99.99, guys. And it doesn't look like the Moto E4 on Boost has a fingerprint sensor, so that's a definite uh, fail right there. The Verizon version of the Moto E4 does have a fingerprint sensor because the Verizon Moto E4 has a physical home button and it's a uh, fingerprint sensor. And when the Moto E4 launched for, for on Verizon prepaid, it was sixty nine 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 when it launched on Verizon. And this one's ninety nine with no fingerprint sensor. Like, come on, dude. You know, but what a shame. So, like I said, five inch touchscreen display, a two point five D curved five inch AC display, offers an exp offers an expansive experience and a premium pocketable design. Splash proof protection. Never let the sp splashes and spills of the day of daily life slow you down. Thanks to splash proof protection, it is not waterproof, guys. So do not submerge your motor E4. Do not submerge it. So if you get a little bit of water on your motor E4, it should be fine. But it's it's not waterproof, guys. It is not waterproof. So just keep that in mind. Eight megapixel rear facing camera and five megapixel front facing camera. Eight megapixel camera and five megapixel wide angle camera with LED flash for great selfies anytime. Talk time eighteen point twenty eight hours, twenty eight hundred million battery. Get up to twenty get up to eighteen point twenty eight eight hours of talk time with the twenty eight hundred million lithium ion battery. Sixteen gig gigabytes of RAM, two gigabytes of RAM, never run out of storage with sixteen gigabytes of internal memory and support up to one twenty eight gigabytes of additional micro SD card storage so specifically of course 3G 4G LTE LTE plus switch seamlessly between Sprint's nationwide 3G and 4G LTE networks and the all new LTE plus network where available 1.4 gigahertz quad core processor get more done in less time with a blazing fast 1.4 gigahertz quad core Snapdragon 427 processor Android 7.1 Nougat OS the sweetest release of Android yet with more ways to make your phone your own featuring improved multitasking, smarter battery usage and a, and a deeply deeply customizable home screen experience. Mexico remarkable. Stay connected when you're traveling to Mexico, plan out and required of course. Voice roaming capable. Keep talking even when you're temporarily outside the Sprint network, select plans include 50 minutes per month of domestic voice roaming. Mobile hotspot capable. Never get stuck without an internet connection. Turn your phone into a Wi-Fi hotspot for on-the-go access. So let's check out some more features of the Moto E4. Wi-Fi enabled, of course, Bluetooth 4.1. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with stereo output. Micro SD card slot support up to 128 GB, micro USB 2.0, HD voice, the specs on the Moto E4 right here. The phone weighs 145 grams, I'm not sure how much it is in ounces. 
Screen size 5 inch display 700p at 294 ppi. 2 GB of RAM, 16GB of ROM with external micro SD support up to 128GB. Talk time 18.288 hours. Battery 2800 mAh. Removable, yes, yeah, so the battery is removable. So that's why your micro SD card and some card is on the back. So the back is removable, so you, you can get different, so you can get batteries for certain and swap batteries out if you, if you want to. The back is a mill, so that, that's a win right there. Uh, processor, quad core Snapdragon 427 processor, 1.4 gigahertz, Android 7.1 Android 7 Nougat. Here's the dimensions of the phone right here. Um, what you get in the Moto E4, what you get in, in the Moto E4 box is pretty much standard, so nothing special. So you, you get the Moto E4, you get to be 2.8 charging cable, the charger, the wall, the wall brick, important information booklet, like SIM card installed. If you guys need help with your Moto E4 for any reason, device support is here to help you out with that. So click on that, and I'll take you to the device support for the Moto E4 and check out what you can learn about the E4 features and stuff like that. And it talks about the uh, plans on the gigs for the dollars a month, standard standard de standard definition streaming videos, gaming and music, with eight gigabytes of mobile hotspot, standard video at 40p plus. Details below. How it works, order order by phone, online or in the store. When you when you when you get your phone activated with no contract plan online, keep your number or choose a new one. Enjoy. It says all new phones include new annual contract plans, free shipping, free activation, seven day return policy, your current number if you want it. And we got you covered on Sprint Network. Recommended apps to tell you about what you know, check it out. So yeah guys, here it is, the Moto E four for Boost Mobile guys, it's finally here. It's 99.99 guys. There is no fingerprint sensor on this one. I'm not sure why there ain't no fingerprint sensor on this one. Um, I, can, I think it's kind of stupid, but it is what it is. But the Verizon Moto E4 has a fingerprint sensor, and when it lands on its prepaid service, it was 69.99 with the fingerprint sensor on on Verizon prepaid when it lost last month for 69.99. It had a fingerprint sensor. This one on Boost that doesn't have one. It's ninety nine ninety nine. So like, what the hell? So that's like the only thing I don't like about the phone is no fingerprint sensor. Back to the phone, in my opinion, it looks like the Moto Z, but you can't put no mods on it, nothing like that. So um, there it is, guys. The Moto E four. There is no fingerprint sensor on this guy, so that's a definite fail right there. Um, so I'm not, I'm sure I'm sure most of you guys were probably, lo probably looking forward to that on this phone, but the Boost Mobile version does not have a fingerprint sensor. So that's actually like I failed, like I said. So, um, yeah. So, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It really helps me out a lot. Please make sure to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching my video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.